Greetings everyone and welcome back to Old World Blues. I'm your host, Troll War and Mocha Lover, in which right now we're looking at Klamath. But they just went to war, a really, the Enclave has just gone to war with the Klamathians? Klamath people? Klamathians. But regardless, we have another focus to do. And one of the comments from yesterday said, well, whether we should choose the Southern Push or we should do Cause of the Trouble. Now, I didn't ask you, did I ask you guys yesterday? I might have, I might not have. Uh, if we went with the cause of the trouble, we'd get Ice Jaw, in which we get Ice Jaw, who is an advisor. You still have to select them, though. Put pushing the border, we do get some caps, and they do get some infrastructure, infrastructure hurt. They lose some stability. Preparing for war would give us more stability, and war support. Actually, that's a pretty good uh, little national spirit. Preparing for the war of supremacy, as well as war for supremacy. But then the southern push has this, of course. Vengeance for the master. We get claims on all of Royal's former core territories. The Red River for Clamus's core territories. We can destroy the temple. As well as the final threat as well. In which we do, of course, go to New Mariposa. So, it makes more sense for us to go down this way. But someone did say, or ask, if we could go down the Southern Push. Which, you know what, we shall. Ha! The ghosts of Washington don't threaten us. There's no... No, there is a bigger prize waiting the Warren. We can conquer the Brotherhood later. For now, the Warren seeks to march southwards. And punish the descendants of those who destroyed the Master all those years ago. The men and women of Arroyo shall know not but suffering and death. So... That's what someone recommended, so I'm like, okay, sure, why not? At least at the time it's recording. And we've got other things to talk about as well, but let's go ahead and have a good old time. Because even though these guys are killing each other right now... Oh, maybe you guys should stop training. There we go! Wow, that militia division. I would hate... To, where's that militia division? I would hate to be them right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at their organization just drop. That is... That is nice to see, I'm not gonna lie. That is very nice to see. And we might give the Enclave some territory, but where are the ones actually pushing in? We've lost 18 people. We've cut off over 300... Not bad, not bad. I love it. And we are just marching in. Ah, oh, the Enclave has shown up a little bit. If we do take this territory, that might put us at war with the Enclave, actually, which, you know, could be oh, could be worse things than that. So, not bad. Are we justifying on anyone else, though? That is a real question. No, we're not. I'm going to go for the Antelope Tribes next, because we can. And at this point, we'll probably have to go to war with the Enclave, because they'll probably want all the territories of Klamath, since they do have claims on them, so... I mean, we could give him stuff, but we're doing so well. I don't think I will. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, I just found something good. A bonus robotics, which makes total sense for us. Absolutely total sense. Let's grab some of this. Tribal huts are nice. We got plenty of political power as well. Oh, there goes the den. You know what? They got the den. They can have the den. This is going to look really ugly. Oh, let's get, make sure we actually give it to them. Thank you. There you go. Which will probably put us in, at a war with these guys. But you know what? That's probably okay. Yep, I knew they'd do that. Well, you earned the den. I earned everything else. So, let them do their worst. Let us enjoy ourselves. We have 102 caps right now. And there was a comment saying that, like I said earlier, with this. The Southern Push, the cause of troubles. Someone recommend we go to the Southern Push because, eventually, the Washington Brotherhood will go to war with us. So, why not just do the other one first? And you get a core on... All of the royal territories, which is kind of nice. And the trial, the Temple of Trials is renamed to the Desecrated Temple. I got some recon as well. It's pretty nice. And I asked you guys yesterday whether we should do flamers or fla frag grenades. Now, support on both sides, but there's quite a bit more support at the time of this recording. Which I'm doing in the late afternoon. For flamers. So, you guys recommended it. And more people voted for it. So, we'll go with some flamerino boyos. Mmm, burn, baby, burn. Oh, they actually have quite a few guys here. Huh. And they do have some of that... Enclave power armor. Ooh, they have some demo teams and machine guns. It's not bad for them. Uh, let's see. We already are on roaming army. Power of the trolls would be nice. What are we building? Roads? It's not bad. Roads aren't bad. Maybe we could do some more stuff than just roads, though. Maybe build ourselves up a little bit more. Uh, resource stockpile, equipment-wise. Plenty of behemoths. Anti tank. I'm really considering making 40 combat with behemoth divisions, but I want some logistic companies if I'm going to put them on there, so... Because the supply is going to go way up, probably, if we do that. We have anti-tank. we got some chemical companies. We do need some more army XP. Are we getting that every day? Yes, we are. So I'm not too worried about that. We're currently get about 1.73 every day for political power. So, after the southern push. Vengeance for the master. This should auto-bypass, but you don't know. Eh, oh, I don't know. A 70-day focus? Oh, it's so long. It is time we finally achieve vengeance for the master's fall. We must strike at the hands, or the lands, of the chosen one now. Bring about the end of their legacy. Traders from Hawaii, if you'd like to read about the traders from Hawaii, please go right ahead, just because this happens usually every campaign, so it is what it is. But I like war support, I like a little bit more stability for now. 
and that already bypassed. The Red River. When we defeat Klamath, our victory will be known throughout the South. The river after which the town was named, named runs deep, deep into civilized hands and lands. We will pitch the bodies into the stream after an unceremonious slaughter of the civilian population, bringing about an end to this meager little town. Not bad. Not bad. Six more uh, po divisions. Don't mind if we do. Now, when is the Anka going to go to war with us? Because we do need to kill off uh, those guys over in Antelope Tribes. Any upgrades for us? No, that's alright. So, Antelope Tribes, how much longer must we wait for you? Uh, about 80 days? I don't know, I don't want to do math there. And you guys are just, yeah. Excuse me, I just want to put you right here, that's all. Thank you. Alright, Guerrilla Tactics, not battery nose. And let's get some uh, more CQC training. Pretty good stuff. Uh, tribal huts are pretty good. Alright, let's go do some basic generators because we can. Manpower slowly going down. We'll get some free cores on them eventually, so. Uh, North Cooper taking in a raid. Oh boy. Oh boy. And every cap for the army, of course. Distressed outsiders. We've got no one for the Air Force. We actually could get Crab. Captain Crab Eater. Not bad, but we got to kill off. Uh, Port Maw, probably, for this. Naval XP gain goes up, but that's not super necessary. I don't know. I, I Just maybe for me, personally, I'd like to see a little bit more development of the Troll War, maybe. Because while our Pukushi isn't bad, it seems like they could go maybe a little bit a step further. Because the, the main goal is always to, you know, take out... Wow, it takes forever. Uh, or form. Not take out... Take out the Washington Brother, but form new Mariposa. That's always the goal. I don't know. I, I would maybe just personally like to see it just a little bit more, like... What would happen if we took out the Pacific Northwest? What would happen if we, you know, went into Heaven's Gate? What if we happens if we go to the 80s, maybe? What if we try to, you know, unite all the super mutants under one tribe or one banner? You know, that'd be kind of cool. But maybe that's just me. Maybe that's just me. Oh, they actually have a border war here, too. Huh. Go on, train, guys. I'm not too worried about that. Uh, how much longer do we have for this, then? If they started... Eh, 40 days. Uh, they stopped. They have about 30... Less than 30 days now, which is not too bad. Well, if we get free cores, look at those crazy horns. We still got 11 every everything, oh, Bob. What is the compliance like? So, no point coring um, Arroyo, the Red River, destroy the temple. Oh! I was not expecting that. All right. Of course, all states but Arroyo. Um, get claims on the Washington Brotherhood's core territories, Port Ma, Old Spokane, the cause. So, we don't get cores on Klamath, though. Which I think is a missed opportunity, but maybe that's just me. The Red River. And which we shall do next do, the Great Horde. Oh. There there are a few among the Bone Dancers who weren't worthy of the gift, and now, even now, as columns of the people are dragged to the pits, it has become clear to all that they shall become a great horde of mutants. One that will further our cause greatly in the years to come. If Bone Snarls worship, of course. Oh, Bone Snarl. Now, oh, they're actually coming in. Oh, look at that. If that's the case, oh, they 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 came back. We'll see what happens. I kind of like to see what's going on here. CQC train is pretty good. Happy man. Ah, let's go and grab that one because we can. Infantry. Oh, hello. They actually won a border war down there. Wow. All right. So after these guys, there we go. Oh, they, did they go? To, they actually did go to war. This huh? It's not a bad idea to do so right now, but hey, you know what? Oh, we can We don't even touch them. Well, it's not good to touch the Enclave. They're probably very icky, as we'll say. Give them a few seconds. I'm going to go to war with these guys, too. Oh, Vault City's no longer there. They're taken out by the dudes in the Pale Folk territory. Alright. But oh, whatever. Three. Two. I don't think it's going to last very long. One. And we're already at war with the Enclave anyway, so... Oh, we can't... Oh, we're not at war. Oh, now we are. There you go. More territory, please. Thank you. Because we can get... Oh, yeah. Let's do that. Men of Rifle Territories. The Den. Ooh. Do we need the Den to form New Mariposa? Ooh. Yeah. We probably gonna need to. Maybe. We'll see what happens. Maybe not. Oh. oh ultimatum Deadline. Oh, it's for the NCR. And we went Battlefield Scavenging. Uh, we went with, of course, more Recon. Let's grab some ex Selective Exposure for more Soft and Heart Attack. I like it. Alright. I'll be fair to these guys as well. Enclave. You can have Modoc. No, we, don't even have, we don't have enough score for that yet. A few more clicks here and there, and we should be able to give it to them. Nice, there you go. And we'll take the rest of this. 
All right. Well, time to have a good time. Against the Enclave. Go ahead and come to the line, if you, if you do dare. They have up to 51 divisions. A new Reno is no, 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 you know, no laughing matter. But then again, we got a pretty big army too, so. Oh, we actually beat him back, huh? Let them attack us. Get some planning. I want some planning here. Lots of planning. Armor's looking pretty good. Oh, we're getting more and more trench. Planning is coming along for a lot of our guys. Three. Two. Good enough for me and you. What do we have over here? Wargol. NCR said no. We might not be able to win everywhere, which is really going to suck, but hey, it is what it is. We might not be able to win there. Whatever. We will win in enough locations that it'll make up for that. Go and force the attack. Force him to die. We're going to lose quite a few guys, but that's alright. That's why you core different areas. Actually, you guys. Really, what you guys should do is come over here and help take them out this way. Nice. Get these guys over, over. Oh, well, since you're over, over there. Go that direction. Force it. Nice, a great horde. And we shall do the Bountiful Coast. The so called Crow Lands are nothing more than a vast mutant swamp filled with dying things. It is here that a vibrant red fruit grows, and it grows in such vast quantities that one need not wonder why the Marlock tribe never expanded. And a land striven with starvation and suffering, they had food in plenty. They should have had food in plenty. Oh, look at these. Not that many divisions here, but there is a power armor division that will have to die here. Can we pierce them? No, we cannot. That sucks. But if you attack them enough times, you will eventually be able to. Ah, oh, saws are not bad. I might throw some saws on. We got plenty of political power right now. Wow. All right. So with that done, well, that pretty much opened them everyone else up here for attacks, which is really nice. Yeah. Well, these guys, you you guys are pretty good on soft attack. Maybe not great. We'll definitely make them bigger, stronger, faster, more powerful than ever before. All right. Yeah, twenty combat width. Do we have? Not bad. Go and throw that on there. That'd be useful. Actually, that's gonna be very useful. Oh, not bad. Not bad. Oh, we can raise this too. That's not bad. Let's do that. There you go. Beautiful. It's what we love. Goodbye. You will, oh, look, look at that. Oh, yeah. We're definitely having a good time with these guys. Definitely having a pretty good time. We've lost about 500. They've lost about 4,000. Yeah, uh, the Enclave. They try to come back, but once again, they have fallen. Cut our losses. And once we get new Reno, we get a whole another trade node. And we've got some power armor, too. Nice. Not bad. And we can go to war with the NCR whenever we want. I'll probably wait until they go to war with the Legion. But let's do what? Destroy the tempo. Oh, we need all the... Uh, oh, that is true. We can't go down this way now because of NCR. Hmm. The Marlock converts. The new mutants that we have gained from forcibly dunking Marlock tribe warriors into the lake below, the Warren, have proven to be incredibly willing to work with us, swiftly converting to our cause. They offer to teach us of the methods they use across the bodies of water on the raids. Not bad. Now, uh, what are we missing Oh, we're missing demo equipment. Maybe we should make that. And maybe some doggos as well. Alright, so what can we core around here? I want to core Klamath as fast as possible at this point. I'll uh, go and do this one. That's fine. 6.26. Ah, uh, the new Reno still disabled. That's fine. Uh, if that's a case. Uh, is there anywhere else? Crowshaven probably honestly needs some of this. So we can develop the trade node there. Because even though we have a trade node... Probably not really that well developed. It's level two, yeah, so. Ah, restore Sierra Army Depot? Oh, look at that. Not bad. And how much money do we have now? 359? That's, oh, hello. Wait, what the heck? What's going on over here? Why are they raiding me? Is that an NCR thing? I guess that is. Well, we're probably going to lose it then if they want. Medford. Oh, that's so that's so dumb. What why? What? 
Why? What? And they're probably just going to raid more over here and here. Oh, that's so stupid. Uh, I will go to war with the MTR, though. Over on the armory. The armory at Kimmel Station is among the most impressive in all of the north. Thousands of firearms of varying shapes and sizes gathered over a hundred years of scavenging and conflict with local raiders and tribes. One can learn a great deal from the schematics that the armory contains. Which would be a good thing. Keep training and we will probably research some other stuff. Not bad, not bad. At this point I'm just going to go ahead and do Children of the Masters. We lose some political power, but 1.52 still not bad. Okay, and Exile's gone. So we're pretty much all filled up with all the PP we need. But still going to take some time to core everything here. Uh, I'll probably core this one first. Yeah. You get some more compliance though. That's alright. Saws. Not bad. That's really good in defense. Let's grab... Ooh, HMGs. Oh, well, I want flamers instead of grenades. Let's go with light machine guns for now. Ah, oh, good. New New Vegas declared war on those guys. But New Vegas declared war on itself. Well, that's sad. That is a little different. Alright. Goodbye, Tlaloc. And how much longer must we wait for... Oh, not... Eh, it's about 70 days. Wow, that's a long time. That was quite a long time for that. Alright, let's take a look at... Uh, compliance. F7. Alright, so not bad. We, we're obviously going to wait for that. The town here is not too bad. So Klamath, and then we'll do some of... Uh, Reno, over in the army. And it looks like the Washington Brotherhood really wants to kill us off with the old guns. Uh, for every state we own with the Kimball Station Corps, it has at least five infrastructure. We'll wait, we'll wait for that one. Let's go back up to here and do forcing them to dig. It takes a little work to learn how to use a simple pickaxe or a simple pick to gather stone, yet it is hard to encourage them without threats of violence. I love violence. No, oh, the pale folk didn't have cords in this too, huh? Gotta wait for this stuff. Just gotta wait for Klamath. And hopefully the NCR doesn't try to take this away from us, those pieces of garbage. Ah, so he took a piece of California they didn't like that, I see. Garbage. That's complete trash. I still get 13, that's not bad. Uh, how's the development coming along here, though? Progress? Wow. Actually, am I even using these guys? Hold on. Crow's Haven. The price is right. Uh, the value is pretty good. 107. I doubt we'll find anything higher than 107. Uh, right now it's uh, about 40-ish. Sac City. Da -da -da. Yeah, how about we get rid of that then? Arroyo? Here it is. Money-wise for now. That's alright. Forcing them to dig. Yeah, there you go. And new Reno, you're currently getting 67. All right. Well, forcing them to make the roads then. The process of laying stone after stone is often considered to be agonizing. Thankfully, the work is below a true mutant. Two point eight percent. It's just going to take some time to build up here. That's all it is. It's just going to take some time. And that's okay. Are we here yet? Yes, we are. Good. I don't even care. Just core this as well, because you can. Selective exposure. Well, let's see. Do we want more army naval speaking terrain reduction? Recovery rate. Lessons of the past. Yeah. Yeah, we gotta go with that one. Alright, next. Let's grab some of this. Basic wall pumps, because we can. Contact loss. Well, that's not good. We found the expedition. Very good. We got 15 days left. That's not bad. 10,000 manpower is pretty good, too. Um, doggos, fire teams. How many fire teams do we have? We got plenty enough fire teams. Can I put some recon on here, too? Yeah, why not? Recon? Well, extra recon, because our soldiers already get recon, so that's pretty nice. Not bad. Heavy melee weaponry. Sign me up. LMGs. Or can we get both of these at the same time? That'd be kind of cool. Scout kits. Eh, because we can. Forcing them to make roads. 
and then select workshop. So th those few slides that possess skills in architecture and design lead a life of relative comfort when compared to the companions. They have homes, design blueprints, and schematics for our expansion operations. They this ensures their safety. And there goes Mojave Territories. Okay, guys, you can stop training. I'm going to go immediately begin just find on you guys next. Why? Because we can. Oh, that's so much better than how long we had to wait previously. I get enough support in here so we can all do well. Um, there you go. There you go. That's much better. Don't want to be fighting alone. That's not cool. Fighting alone is not cool. Would anyone like to just walk into paradise? There it goes. Cult of Diana. Bye bye, Cult of Diana. 25 versus almost roughly 400. Heaven's Gate and High Chapel. Not bad. Take these guys out. These guys are encircled. Goodbye, soldiers. Goodbye. 43 versus almost 1,000. Not bad. And we have... Was that Vaults? No, Vault City's down here. That's alright. I'm just pretty much waiting until we can go to war with these guys up here, so... Still get 1.52, so that's pretty good. Claw Dex. These guys have been cut off. Beating him up. Getting more army XP. Making ourselves stronger, stronger, stronger. Yes, please. Thank you. Demand tribute. Uh, if you'd like to read about this, go right ahead. But 80s, we will not be pushed around. That is true. We are now have a border with the 80s, which is not very good. But whatever. It is what it is. All right. Let's see if we head on down to Modoc. We'll have enough um, compliance soon enough, which will be good. It'll be very, very good. Hopefully, we get a lot of political powers and core more. Just core, 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 core. Develop, 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 develop. You know, all that good stuff. Anything else for Crow's Haven? No. Uh, add in some more roads for all this territory, too. We're going to need more roads. Always going to need more infinite roads. Infinite roads, my friends. So at this point, I'm waiting for NCR to go to war with somebody besides us. So. Ah, slave workshops. Love it. Expanding slave labor. Our slave drivers send out teams of dozens of would-be workers to clear the rounds and establish pathways through otherwise dense, mutated woodlands. Look at more caps and more infrastructure, just period. Nice. Yeah, that's a big old border we got with the NCR, which is not good. Of course, ooh, Vegas looking pretty good. Uh, Volpus's Legion. That's looking honestly a little sad. I wish it was a little bit bigger. Traders from Hawaii. Like to read about traders from Hawaii. Go right ahead. But I still would like some more stability because we're not quite up there yet. And I do get slightly more political power, which does help. Go right ahead when you can. And we'll just have you guys do it. I don't care about these guys doing it for now since they're guarding the board against the eight T's. White legs. Yeah, they're all independent. Oh, they have the Nevada Pact, huh? Alright. Are they by themselves? Well, I don't want to attack them because they could go to war with the NCR. Or have an open border, another open border with the NCR, so. Only 100% world tension or wasteland tension. Yeah, what's it called? Is it world tension or wasteland tension? Huh. Depends on online. Great! And let's go ahead and do Restore Naval Air Station Valon. Not bad. Ooh, Power Melee Weapon would be very nice to get, actually. We gotta have more Army XP, though. And send out some manual prospectors. Why not? Not bad, not bad. Could always use more money, though. Or equipment is not bad, either. Awesome. Doggos? Why not? Ah, almost gone, almost gone. Yep, and now they're gone. Hmm. Could go to war with the 80s. Would not be a terrible idea. Maybe not a great idea, but not a terrible idea. Hmm. What are they up to? If we go to war with them, then we have to go to war with the White Legs or White Claws as well. Hmm. Maybe. I'm a little worried about the, the Northern Lights. I might just go to war with these guys and just justify on them. That might be the best thing to do. Maybe that's what we'll do. Maybe. Maybe we'll do that. We don't have to do the uh, focus to get them, so... How about we do that? Oh, wow. That's a long time. I guess technically we are trying to do these guys next, so that makes more sense. But these guys have so much border to cover, it doesn't even matter. 
and then we shall be masters of mankind. Let all who know is the true ruler in the north. Humanity are just for puppets. They toil in the mines and build weapons for us. They are pets and nothing more, just as the old world sought to use. Get a lot more infrastructure and some more caps. I like that. Very nice. Very, 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 very nice. And time to core Modoc. Yes, please. It's not worth much, but we'll take it. And then Sierra Army Depot would be good to core. But we're almost there in terms of compliance. That's good. It's very nice. Very, very nice. Well, everyone, here we're at. We already are at war. With those pale, pale folks. Let's go right on in. Uh, off screen, the NCR had a little border war over here. I was actually able to defend. So that's why you see the soldiers over there. So we should do relatively okay around here. As in, I say that as soon as we are not winning some of these battles. But that's all right. And someone is justifying on us? Hmm. The Washington Brotherhood. Oh boy. Attack the Warren. Well then. We've got about two months to wait for that. It's not too bad. Let's watch out for some spies. We're spending a lot of money doing this, by the way. Uh, that's alright though. It shouldn't be too bad to take these guys out, even though... Do they have planes? No, they don't, huh? We're not being as successful as I would like us to be, but, you know, whatever. Uh, losses. 300 versus 1,000. 1,400. Eh, it's okay. Put them in their place. Put them in their place. I would like to get a way more army XP though, so we shall see what happens. Uh, we can go right here and oh, never mind. We didn't need to cut them all off. Thank you. And Vault City is great to get because they are a trade node, which I love, love, love. If that's the case, they want to go to war with us. We'll do this. Thank you. Guard on the line. You guys head on down here, and hopefully we'll have some more divisions to help guard right here. So we'll be nice and covered. And I'm letting time go on. I want to get more political power anyways. So let's do the ancient or mutant canoes. Oh, go, there goes Kaizo Sounds. Light ships are good for running down enemy transport ships. While not nearly as glorious as their health or heavier cousins, they're still essential. We do get a little bit more water, which is kind of nice. All right, so we got six more divisions. Pretty nice. I'm throwing you over here, though. One, two. All right, very good. Go right there. I uh, hope you guys are having a good day. I think we have some comments to go through as well. Some more comments, actually. Not... Bad Arenos. Wee! Alright, let's have him go on. Van Grass request alone. Um, nah. Investments fall through cutter losses. Yeah, that's the best thing to do. And we have General Shatterhand. Very nice. Oh, oh, Forester. I like that one. I like Urban Assault Specialist too, so let's go with that one too. And we already have Recon, so let's grab some more Recon for our Recon. Yeah, sometimes, as some of you guys said, especially one person, but overall you guys do like it when I do read comments. Um... Yeah, I, mean, I I read comments every single time before I upgrade or upgrade. Before I do an episode, I always read all the comments. Um, or at least the, all the comments I can before I actually record. Because sometimes comments come in and I can't address them because I already recorded the video. Um, other times, I mean, there's really not much else for me to say about that. Except, uh, you know, I read comments all the time. However, I will say that sometimes I forget to address some of the comments. Because I write them down. I write down all the comments I need to address. I sometimes forget to read all of them, though. So, sometimes that's why I don't address all the comments. I sometimes forget to read the ones I wrote down, but the powwow. We've managed to uncover a stockpile of rather useful weapons, powwows. The smooth skins call them power fists, and they are forced to be reckoned with. We need to repair more of these. And get more army XP, which would be great. Powered melee weaponry? Well, we'll get that anyways, so. Restore Mountain Home Air Force Base, not bad. And I've been coring some more stuff, too. I think I even... Did I core new Reno? I did. I still got so much manpower now. And resources. That's actually really nice. I want to build up new Reno as much as possible, just because... It is a trade node, and that's always good to build up. You know, trade nodes, trade nodes, trade nodes. Because currently we get a total of 6.39, so that's not too bad. Resistance care package. Uh, how are we doing with compliance? F7? Yes. Yes, it is. F7. 13%. Uh, that's not terrible. Strategic training regimen. Uh, soft attack and more max speed, or... Yeah, I gotta go with this one. Special forces capacity multiplier is okay. It's not great, in my opinion. It's, it's okay. So... Uh, could we do anything else here? We could. We can't, there's no other thing for training laws, which kind of sucks, but whatever. And, oh, they immediately go to war with us. All right. Well, if you say we can do well, maybe I will trust you. And maybe that's a bad idea. What do we force the attack? How strong are these guys? So, we're going to be watching out for spies, of course. We lost 12, they lost 300. They have up to 81 divisions. We already have 112. That's not bad. This is some anti-partisan stuff. That'd be good. Uh, you guys... You might... Oh, yeah. Cut cut the stuff. That's fine. 
They are attacking us, but if we had you guys attacking, that might not be too bad. Especially if we force the attack. There we go. Now we're popping those numbers up. Now hopefully this doesn't go too badly for us. That'd be quite bad if it did. That's alright. Redmond. There you go. Do something like, like that. We've lost about 100 people versus 1,000. Not bad. How much manpower does the Washington Brotherhood have? A is a clear one of the White Legs or White Claws. Very good. They have a little bit of manpower. We have pretty equal in terms of industry. So not bad. Oh, do we literally... We actually answer a little division. Nice. Ooh. What's over here? Crowhavens? Not Crowlands. Crowhavens. Oh. Nice. We don't get that much money from this place, but hey, I'll take whatever we can grab, you know? Hey, we made an encirclement too. Nice. Oh, we can go to war these guys as well. Well then. Well then. Um, the powwow is very nice. River expeditions. Control of the rivers is an essential part of trade among the tribes of Oregon and Washington. The ability to project power and transport warriors is key to any group of savages seeking to gain dominance. Absolutely. We've lost about 300 versus 4,000 losses. Old World Blue didn't buy anything. That sucks. Logistics. Alright, not bad. Not bad. Let's grab some maintenance because we can. And then we'll also grab what else? Well, that's pretty much it for support companies, then. Vehicles, no. Robotics, no. Land doctrine, no. Specialized doctrines, no. But we can't even do this either. We can't. It's mutually exclusive. Oh, that's so sad. How sad. Wood monsters. Now, honestly, is it really worth putting them on here? You get how much more? Eh, that's not bad. You do lower the armor, though. You do lose speed if you put these guys on, so... It's not bad. If you put on super mutants. You get a th double your H... Wow. Go and do that, why not? 20 armor is okay. I would like some of this, but... Eh. They don't... They don't already have recon, huh? Logistics might not be bad either. Supply, uh, supplies, is it really that bad? 1.5, I don't think it's that bad. Then again, the roads here aren't very good, as we can see right here as well, so. But if that's the case, you guys just go ahead and hold. That's okay, just hold for now. You're not really great on the fans, but that's all right. How are we doing over here? Our partisan stuff will be good. Thank you, thank you. I can't imagine these guys holding out for super long. I mean, they have 54 divisions now. They've lost quite a bit of manpower, and they continue to lose even more manpower, and that's manpower that we can actually use because, well, we're not too weak in terms of that stuff. Like, we got 16,000 extra soldiers in the background, and the reserves waiting for us. Not bad. You guys, stop training, go home, have a good time, go, 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 leave. Or die in the water. Your choice. You guys, hold out until you possibly can, and force the attack if you can as well. Not bad. Force them, force them. Nice people killing each other all across the wasteland, but you know what? I wouldn't want it any other way, right? Absolutely. Fort Williamette, of course. Wow, Texas is going to war with all sorts of different people, aren't they? Any upgrades yet for anybody? Yes. Travis, the scavenger, more awareness, because we already have a maxed out stuff there. And then for us, strong back wouldn't be bad. Bloody mess. I don't want to lower my defense, though, so that would be very nice. Over here, we're doing a great job. Like, we're, we're doing quite well, I would say. So if you could take the port, that's the most important thing to do, cut these guys all off. They lost 7,000, we've already killed off quite a few divisions, Old Spokane might be giving us a little bit of trouble, that's okay. Hold out, river expeditions are next, and then raid Port Mall. Many of our younger warriors have taken a liking to waging war upon the rivers. One of these raiders in general could use rather useful, or be, could prove rather useful to us. Not bad. Captain Crab Ears, eh? Not bad, not bad, not bad. We can't seem to win over here, but let's finish up this area first. That'd be kind of good. Oh, there goes Houston Rockets. Man, they're just going to go to war with everyone, aren't they? And then we'll split up these armies a little bit more. So stop attacking here. You guys. There, just kind of hang out for now. We'll get rid of these guys first. Can we even pierce them? No, we can't. That sucks. Well, some of some of these guys can. No, we lost again over here. That sucks. It's all right. It's all good. It'll be all good eventually. Let them waste their time with that. So seriously, how we how have we not won over here? What's going on? How can we not pierce their divisions yet? Makes no sense, man. 
Let the infantry die, and eventually they will have to die as well. Come on. And it doesn't help that we don't have planes, too, so. They're out of organization. They're out. They're out. Come on. Come. There they go. Finally. Thank goodness. All right. So, here we're going to do. You guys are already over here. You guys are just going to move on in. Nice. You guys get down here, and you're going to cover this area as well. You guys come down here and do that. That'd be kind of nice. You guys actually come down here to help hold the line, because it's not looking too great down here. And then you guys just double up over here and help out. There we go. The master plan. Uh, you guys just do that for now. Go to where you need to go. Let them waste their lives on the line. That'll be good. You guys would probably do okay over there. I mean, this is the, the big war that we were expecting. We lost about a thousand so far. Not really worried about it. Money-wise, not too bad. Ah, uh, good news, citizens care package. We're running out of money though, which is not good. But hey, as long as their compliance is looking a little better, that's what matters, right? What am I in Carson City too? We need 300 political power though. And what's next after raiding Port Ma? Ma, 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 ma. No more DACA. Well. Oh, the old guns. Let us see these things, huh? The apostles will. Hmm. You know what? I'm not gonna do anything else because I don't want to have. I don't have all of Oregon under us yet, do we? No, we gotta get all of this area done. So after the war, then we'll just start doing stuff. But that's okay. For now, we're just gonna collect all that political power. That sweet, sweet political power. Maintenance three, because we can. You gotta keep up the attacks on the enemy. You two go right on ahead. Uh, you know what? Let them all go right on ahead. All right, for you guys, you gotta just push them in now. Force them to die. Either force them to die or not. Either one of you two is gonna die. So I can't imagine the Washington brother really keeping this up, but I could be wrong. No, they're out of manpower. Port Ma's got more manpower, and Old Spokane State's got a lot. Oh, wow. <clears throat> I do want to court more stuff. So that's why I want to take more time with this. Safe munition stowage. Let's grab the middle one. River fleet. Not bad. Because we can. Alright, you guys are done? I don't think so. so. Oh, did they abandon the line? Oh, you. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Cable bridge, huh? Accurate radiation exposure, not bad. Well, we can grab some cap ship rating doctrine because we can. Good, just go, go, go. We're doing a pretty good job, I'd say, so far. Cut off the off from everyone else. That's not too bad. Any more experience? Nope. Go and do that then. Not bad. Um, what are we building? Places in Reno. That's not too bad. I do want to take up the NCR though in one final episode. And they're not going to be easy, even though they are actually getting defeated by the Bulbous' Legion. That's not bad. Alright. Anything else we should know about? Not really. We're doing really well. We're... They're so focused on the south that they didn't even, you know, defend their own normal borders. All right, that's fine with us. Fine with us. We've killed off twenty-one thousand of them. We lost about a thousand of ourselves. That's not too bad, I would say. This is not good unless we can meet up here, which would be a lot better. You guys, bone snarl. Head on over here. Teach these guys a, a good old lesson at Old Spokane. Okay, they're gone. Nice job, guys. Nice job. Yeah, even without planes. Very nice. Very very nice. Look at that. Three more divisions going to go bye-bye. Oh, we have enough to core Carson City. Nice. Just what the doctor ordered. Would you all like to participate in the battle? That would be probably pretty smart to do. Oh, very good. Economic resurgence, great. Beautiful. Now, these guys are going to be a little bit more challenging to take out just because... Oh, actually, do we have to take them out? Is, who's the leader here, really? Nope, just Washington Brotherhood. If we hurry up take those guys out, we'll be golden. At the same time, though. Murtaugh? Nah, probably the 80s. We're still fighting the White Claws. Hmm. 
can go to war with these guys whenever we want. Uh, well, I mean, we could do it through the focus tree, but I'll just do it manually. That's fine. Mm, General Shatterhand. I don't really want to get rid of you, but there's not too much of a use for you here. What are you doing? Holy cow. Hmm... There you go. Get to Capitol Hill. Ah, I love their autonomous zones. Anything else around for research? No, that one's done. Oh, we didn't get primitive radio yet. What is wrong with me? Then again, we already got plus 20% reinforced, right? So it doesn't really matter too much. A Capitol Hill autonomous zone? Don't mind if we do. Capitol Hill has fallen. Ah, I love it. I love the trade nodes. Uh, Electric City. Oh, weakness in the north. Nice. Excuse me, guys. I would like to do stuff around here, please. Thank you. There you go. Good, 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 good. Was there a half something here? Huh, oh, there is. You can't really actually see it, but okay. <clears throat> well, they're gone. So, tackling the Timberline. The Northern Jacks near the Timberline have enjoyed a good sense of peace due to being a buffer state between the war and the Northern League. If we were to bring out the Northern League out of the picture, then there would be nothing keeping us from attacking this small little state. Oh, yeah, maintenance efficiency too, so we're done with that stuff too. Why not? Um, not really much else here, I'll be honest. Not really a whole lot here. Electric City? Don't. Oh, I still disabled. My bad. Very good. <clears throat> I guess really the last enemy will be the NCR. I mean, they are slowly losing to these guys too, but... Oh. Henta del Sol. Oh, we can form new mirror At the time, the new mass of the masses and army seen by many super mutants as a golden age for other people. A time to look back to with nostalgia. While the old fortress of Mariposa, the masters themselves are no long gone, and there's nothing to keep us from claiming to be the heirs of that legacy, we control the original lands of the first super mutant army. Alternatively, if a nation were to hold a little suitable amount of source of FEV, such as a vast within Vault 6, then many would see that as a good enough claim outright. The south is where the master failed, after all. Perhaps a better luck can be struck up north. If we control all the Master's old territory, as well as Washington, we'll pour those states instead, huh? Any puppet that's completely in any of those territories will be annexed. Ah, let's go and do it anyways. I don't want to read anymore. Not bad. Ah, I love it. F7. Well, even though we didn't get his cores on this territory, it's alright. Oh, we did it? Oh, no, it did. Huh. We have a lot less manpower than I thought we would. Well, we have literally... Exactly half a million people that's part of our eligible core population, but alright. Economic resurgence, economic resurgence, good, good, good. Hmm, do we really need anything else? Not really. There you go. And then, there you go. And then, naval specific manufacturing, not bad. Grab some of this because we can, and then build another dockyard because, or, you know, boat because we lost him. And then do that. There you go. Capital ship doctrine. Aerial denial. Not bad. And be able to go to war with those guys soon enough. After that, well, there's not much left, I suppose. Destroy the temple. Oh, we could read about that. Unlike our other conquests, there's nothing used to use from the lands of the royal. These lands birthed the Chosen One. Many mutants would feel it is safer simply to destroy the temple, to destroy this icon, and make the Chosen One a long forgotten memory, which we'll do eventually, but let's, let's finally do the old guns. Gimbal Station was protected by a battered pre war artillery pieces. Massive tools and bombardment and violence have been designed to protect it from born invader. They gave them little help against the likes of us, but they were certain to destroy them before we even overran their position. Still, we can learn much from their remains. We got two days left. Uno days left. And... Boomerinos. Let's go. Oh, that's nice. Let's grab some of this as well. Long range optics. Ain't too bad. No ships yet. Alright with me. Yeah, going to war with these guys would probably be really bad, but eh, it might be okay, actually. 
Because I definitely want to get the cores over there too, so. The Legion's not doing too bad. And the White Claw's looking pretty bad, though. 5,000, 8,000. Eh, it could be a lot worse, actually. Could be much, 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 much worse. Ah, Timberline. Well, since they're at war, what else are we going to do around here, then? I want you guys to focus. Um, where? Maybe here? Any upgrades? Dead horses? No. Rooted? Pain train? Well, we don't have power armor, so rooted is probably the way to go. Level 4, not too shabby. Super the Warrior, Urban Assault Specialist would be really kind of nice. But let's go with more attack. Not bad. Watch out for some spies. Chief of the Navy, I mean, that's kind of a waste. Eh, I kind of want to be that, maybe not. Eh. Would have been useful, but whatever. Legacy of the Bone Pickers. The Bone Picker tribe, while long gone, wiped out by the apostles in ancient times, have clearly left a mark on this land. Their weapons scattered across the mountaintop. These weapons have fallen into our hands now and shall forever remain ours. The Bone Picks used special chemical treatments on the bones of their foes, which would harden them into something that rivaled steel. This allows for more efficient use of a defeated foe's body after consumption, of course. Eh, that's really okay with us to do. All right, well, we're all down here. Can we actually go to war and do well? Hopefully. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Force the attack. And you guys can force the attack as well. And then you guys can force the attack. Well, maybe not. Maybe we're out of force attack. All right, that's okay. Uh, losses initially, 26. Versus 900. Not bad. You dare take my ter climate territory away, NCL? You have bitten off more than you can chew. Oh, we can do this too. Power of the Trolls. We lose even more stability, but that's alright. More research speed. I love it, even though we don't really need it. Power of the Trolls. Destroy the temple. We need all their territory, of course. After that, we'll go and do Nightkin Immigration. Encouraged by the stories of Pittman's rise of popularity within the war and the increasing social status of Netkin, thousands of his ilk have started migrating northwards to join the armies of the Warren. That would be very, very nice for every core state in Oregon. Add 30 manpower to a manpower pool. Why not? Why not? They got about two days left. That's not too bad. I'm not worried about the armies too much, especially with uh, our guys chugging along. All right, we'll do some research then. Chugging along very, very nicely. No ships yet, huh? Takes forever to make them, huh? Alright, whatever. So far, it looks like we're doing pretty darn well, I'd say. You guys keep forcing an attack. We've lost about 300... No, no more like 230. We've killed off 8,500, just as much as the Legion has. Not too shabby, but I do say so with myself. You know what? No more. We don't need more. Wow, look at that, um... Manpower. Wow. Ah, eh, just in case, do this too. There you go. Lowers the armor a little bit, but it doesn't matter. Long range optics, not too bad. Let's grab some of this. After not getting immigration, we'll probably do the Oregon line. The war is no fortress, but it become one with enough time and effort. Pushing the slaves back to work on it will enable us to fortify again against invasion, should such a thing ever occur. Yeah, look at them go. Don't let them free, though. That'd be the worst thing you could do. Any upgrades? No. I know. Not too shabby. Wow. We just made a beeline for the south, huh? Go to Shady Sands. Uh, that'd be a pretty good trade note to get. These guys are all completely cut off, too. I love it. They're all dying like crazy. 31,000. They have 92 divisions left. We have done 72% of all the damage. Nice. Follow Shady Sands. Now, we could go to war with the, excuse me, Legion, but, nah, I'm not really interested in doing that. I mean, we could, but, nah. Nah. That doesn't seem like a lot of fun for me. As you can tell by the title of this video, it's pretty much the end of the campaign. Uh, a little quick trip down with the Troll Warren. I'll play him again sometime to get different leaders, but you guys gotta help remind me in the future that we gotta do the first... Above all, and the Pittman's cunning eventually, too. So, And the Oregon line. Uh, I think I'd rather... Could we do this one yet? No. No, not yet. So, 
I think I already read this one, so should a thing ever occur, we get three slaves. The Warren's a fortress, but it become one with enough time and effort. Putting the slaves to work on it will enable us to fortify it against invasion. Such a thing should ever occur. I'm pretty sure I already read that, so. But I could be wrong. After this, we could probably just go to war with these guys then. If we wanted to, of course. It's only 10 days, not bad, but these guys will die within 10 days, probably, so. Keep going, keep going. You're doing a tremendous job. Fifty full thousand manpower. Never enough, but looking pretty darn nice. They have 70 divisions left, not bad. Justification for the 305, not too bad. Let's finish this up, guys. Come on. Tea Kettle Junction is ours. Beautiful. How's this looking? Oh, there's a few different ways to get into the Shi lands. Are we at war with the Shi? No, we're not, huh? Oh, this is so sad. I'm cutting them completely off of out of everything. They've only lost 49,000. Oklahoma's there. Nice. They've killed off 35,000 of them. Not bad. Oh, God, come on. 87% of the way there. Are we done up here too? Alright, alright, not bad, not bad. At this point, I think it's probably best if I split the army up a little bit more. You guys head on down here. That'd be nice. You guys head on down here. We got some motorcycles, so we gotta deal with that. And then you guys are coming down here, so you guys can do that too. There go the 80s, and then you guys come on down to here as well. Have a good old time. And then you guys come down here too and do the same thing. And they'll be dead before they before we know it. That'll be nice. Wood treatment. Let's grab some wrought iron manufacturing. And we'll grab some unwilling gatherers. Our gatherers are learning what it means to work until one is dropped, for it is only then we, that we let them rest. Then let them eat. The harder they work, the sooner they may collapse. It's a win-win for us. Oh, you guys are done too, huh? Alright, not bad, not bad. Come on over here, guys. Have a good old time. And they should fall very soon. And we'll probably take most of this. I mean, just to just be real here. They haven't done too much, so. Not bad. After Messenger Seagulls, we'll probably grab some weapon mount production, even though it doesn't really mean too much. I think what he did... Well, he didn't even have any planes, so we didn't have to research that stuff either. So, not too bad. Not bad arena. Come on, guys, keep going in. They're just a little bit more of a menace, and we gotta get rid of them. Uh, Ranger Citadel, we probably re just find them, folk. 73,000 manpower, not enough. And there they go. Yeah, I really don't want to go to war with the Legion, so. Uh, Legion, you can do this first if you want. We'll give you this. Not bad, and I'll take everything else because, well, we pretty much deserve it. Nice. So I'll leave Betty down here just in case the Legion gets a little uppity about that. We're going to need a lot of uh, stuff to put down resistance and such. We can do that. You guys come on down to here. Let's put you guys about in half. Now we don't have to go to war with these guys, but it'll make it probably look a little nicer too, so. There you go. We got some of this. Get some of this. Get some of this. Not bad. Get some of this. There you go. There you go. There you go. How much money are we making right now? Uh, 58. That's not bad. New assistance care package is pretty worth it, though, for this stuff. And restore this, because he can. I just took him one. I wasn't even paying attention. After I'm willing gathers, I guess a glorious city would be bad, the Warren. Oh, let's do some more of this first. There we go. Recoil compensation studies. Oh, the glorious city. Oh, that's 100 days? Ah, oh, let's wait to do that one. Destroy the temple. We, we already read earlier, so... Not bad. Not bad. Ooh, does it core, actually, all the states in Klamath? Oh, it does! I didn't... Earlier, didn't say it would core all that stuff, but okay. Reinvigorator capital. Look at that. 
All resources in Capitol Hill and Electric City are moved to New Mariposa. Nice. 92, and that ain't too bad, I'd say. All right, let's see what happens down here. Did they not attack us? Oh, I forgot about these guys. There you go. We're, it's a mixed bag attacking, but that's all right. Bane of man still. Gotta love it. Gotta love that extra little attack we get. Focus fire, not bad. And ship of the line. Very, very good. Over 100,000 manpower. We got a lot of super mutants here, I'd say. Losses. 1,000. Wow, we've lost 1,200 already. We've killed off 5,700. Almost 6,000 enemies. That ain't too bad. No, those guys ain't moving, are they? It's all right. We lost probably 2,000. 1,300, actually. 6,300, not bad. Seven thousand, not bad, not bad. Again, dangerously close to dying over there. Now these guys might want to take us out. Yeah, New Mariposa not looking too bad, I'd say. Oh, Volpus's Legion is naval invaded. Okay, they could actually probably win. Rod Iron Manufacturing. Let's grab some of this then. Ballistas, destroy the temple. Thank you very much. All right, not too shabby. Now white. Claws. I don't really want to fight them, so we're probably not. They've got a lot of div They don't have that much vampire, actually. Huh. Trade from Hawaii. Let's grab some more stability. It's always good to grab some more stability, in my opinion. Mm, I don't really feel like fighting those guys. How about the... How about these guys, though? Might be able to. Let's go and start just fighting them first. Oh, they're out with the Great Cons? Well, I'm not too sh worried about that. Shworried? Yeah, I ain't too shworried about that. Cool, not bad. Probably need to build ourselves up here a little bit more. I just want to get through the Focus Tree, and this is one of the things we can do while we're waiting for the Focus Tree to finish. Nice. Very good. Economic resurgence. Oh, the final threat. If you'd like to read about this, go right ahead. We've destroyed the temple, but it's time for a new Mariposa reborn. To the north lies a massive underground complex known as Vault 6. With its technology and some of the FEV from the Troll Worm, the first believed that he can recreate Mariposa. It will require the removal of the bothersome Washington Brotherhood, but who are they to stand before this super mutant race? So we have new Mariposa. The first tore apart. The armor-clad normals guarding the entrance to Vault 6. Once again proving, proving that super mutants are the next step in human evolution. The true children of the apocalypse, Vault 6 was home to advanced technology and unthinkable experiments, all buried beneath hardened lava and ash. Now it belongs to us. Rowdy mutants jeer at, jeer at each other as they tip over barrels of forced evolutionary virus, filling the rusted halls with a sickly green glow. This time, the master's vision will be fulfilled. The age of super mutants has dawned. I am the new master. Look at that. Just for Rogel's time's construction speed, more political power. And right now we're doing the Glorious City, in which the war grows with each passing day. Even now it thrives with a booming mutant population and an ever-growing underclass of humans who toil in their attempts to make a living under our foot. In which we can only get two political power a day. Wow, that's a lot. <clears throat> Holy cow, and we're still trying to justify on... Let's go to that. Why not? Uh, oh, Volpus's Legion is looking pretty good. Uh, New Vegas just because we can. And I want to at least finish the, the last focus there, so it shouldn't be too bad. We've got a few weeks left. Not that many weeks left. 50 days, less than two months, so... And we have a quarter million manpower, so, I mean, I think we're doing pretty darn nicely. How about you guys? I'm feeling pretty good about this. We're the Troll and Warm, and the update, though. I kind of wish they had a little bit more, I'll be honest. Like I said earlier, like, I really wish we had more here to do. Like, what What about Utah? Like, what can we do about Utah? Like, can we invade Utah? Can we put down the new Canaanites? Can we attack Heaven's Gate, maybe? Can we attack the Northeast, like a, or Northwest, like I said earlier in the episode? I would really like just a little bit more there for us to do, you know. It's, it's fun playing as the Troll Warren with the Super Mutants. 
There's not that many super mutant factions in the game. I mean, obviously there's us, the Troll Worm. There is Shale's army, and of course, ooh, what was it? Was it Carbon that used super mutants as well? No, Los, no. It was Crusher's army and the Ironbringers or Ironbrongers, something like that. Eden, maybe, maybe not. Ooh, oh, Ironmongers, Ironmongers. I need to play as them, but yeah, the world's pretty much gone to crap. Santa Ana's gone crazy. So it is what it is, but I would like to see maybe a little bit more just for super mutants in general. I don't have a particular soft spot for super mutants, but. They do all right. They definitely do all right. APCs, now fighters. You know, we got 300 some fighters here. Why not use them? Even if we can't make them. We still got some fighter planes. I love it. I think that's just great. Head on up and duplicate. Thank you. And we can go to war pretty much immediately. Let's get these guys over here first though. All right. Oh, you guys looking pretty good. Not bad. Let's see if we can take out the Crown Jewel of the Wasteland. Now they're attacking us. They call it in the Great Cons. 8, 13. I want everyone to go if they can. Especially you guys. And I want you to force the attack. I want them to force them to die. You guys are over here. I don't care about the Shia, to be honest with you. Um, here it is, wins. Of course, we're moving into there pretty quickly. You guys come over here and see what you can do. They're attacking us like crazy, which is totally fine with me. Wow. Some of those robots are not looking very good. Let's take a quick look and see how are things going. 4,000 manpower, 189 divisions. That's quite a few guys. So we shall see how well we will do. Uh, carrier escorts. Let's get some bear packs. It's nice. And if we can take these two tiles, we can encircle all these guys and kill them off, maybe? Yeah, because this is all just kind of surrounded and such, so. Uh, losses, we lost about 400 versus 2,000. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Well, that's pretty good, I would say. Yeah, here's a gift. I don't really care about the money right now anymore. we got plenty of money. Um, we're actually pushing in to what was Mojave Territory. Or Mojave Chapter Territory, so. Good, those guys all were died. Awesome. We caught off or killed about 40 enemy divisions. Not bad. You guys, needles, let's go. Don't waste time. And Scam just found something, and the Glorious City, and we're done with the focus tree. Yeah, I really wish this focus tree was longer. I really do. Not bad, though. Not too bad. You guys are doing great over there. Head on. No, maybe not over there. You guys head on up to here. As we're battling our way literally into New Vegas. Hold and go. Because this is pretty gosh darn brutal fighting, I would have to say. So it's all so congested. Any more divisions died? Yep, they have 139. Over 280,000 manpower. Promoting the economic node here is not a bad idea. Level 6, pretty good, I would say. Oh, these guys are completely cut off. Oh, that's so nice. So nice. Very good. Let's go right on in. New Vegas is really not too hard to beat once you have an anti-tank. We lost about a thousand, they lost about ten thousand roughly, so not too bad. And super mutants have figured out how to use string telephones. Oh, this is coming along as well. I'd like to see about their stockpiles actually. Oh, they're almost out of manpower. That's kind of nice, stockpile-wise. Well, they got some barrage balloons. They still got some anti-tank rifles. Uh, they're not doing terribly. Not great, though. And that's alright with us. They're completely out of manpower now, which is awesome. Waterproof ceiling. Sounds like a good thing to do. Yeah, these guys are really screwed. I want to force you guys to attack. Just force them to attack. Ah, uh, I love it. Oh, Robatos. Oh, we may have to take out the Great Cons too, but maybe we'll just capitulate anyways. Oh, do we get them off yet? Maybe not quite yet. Oh, some of these guys are cut off. That's nice. Ah, oh, I love it. 
Eh, there's nothing down there. Gunslinger, Commando, that's for infantry. We're not really infantry, we're super mutants, so. though. A five for New Vegas? God, this is bloody. We love every second of it. Oh, we cut New Vegas off from them all. Nice. Well, uh, maybe not exactly, but hey, now they're gone. Ah, and they're gone. Awesome. All right, let's see. Go right on ahead and kill the rest of these guys off. We have unlimited power. Which is nice. It's very nice to have unlimited power. Carson City's ours, of course. Go and do that because I don't really care. Oh, I guess that's it. I thought we were still at war them. But regardless, I guess that's in the campaign. If you enjoyed it, please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow in a different campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.